Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. So today I thought I would share with you the things that make me feel confident, make me feel pretty, whether it be from makeup, an outfit I chose, or some jewelry. So if you're curious into what those items are, please continue watching. And if you are new today, if you would consider hitting that subscribe and notification bell, we would love to have you here in our family. All right, you guys, come check out the items that make me happy. Okay, so what inspired this video actually was the other day I put on um, this complexion product and immediately I felt confident and uh, it's a product that everybody loves pretty much. Uh, you know how much I love it, but I didn't realize how much I loved it and how wonderful it made me feel when I had it on my face. I went to work and I work under fluorescent lights, you guys, and you know what that does to anybody. Um, it, it's not <laughs> pretty, you know, I just avoid that mirror at all costs. But even in that mirror, it wasn't horrible. I felt really flawless. I felt, you know, just confident. So I thought, I'm going to bring out the products that make me feel good about myself when I have them on my face. Whether, it, you know, anybody else might think it looks good, but it makes me feel good. And so I thought I would share that with you. And also um, an outfit that I just got that I absolutely love. And again, that brought me so much confidence. And I'm going to share that with you guys at the end of the video. I mean, you're kind of getting a sneak peek right now. But um, and if you follow me on Instagram, you probably have already seen it. Okay, so what's in my basket is... Not necessarily my favorite product, it's just maybe the shade that makes me feel confident or, um, you know, just one that I grab for all the time. And then there are a few in here that are one of my favorites. So uh, it just depends, you know, but the eyeshadow, you know, I really don't have a ultimate favorite palette. Um, they all are, I think, the ones that I have now, um, again, they all have their moments and reasons why I would choose it for that day um, but the eye look is more so uh, the shades that I put on um, that make me feel good about myself or you know shades I know that work with my complexion and uh, yeah so that's what I'm going to do today and the look that I'm doing is a look that I would feel comfortable going out in public during the day or if I was even going out at night so it's kind of going to be an in-between I look, which is good because especially during the holidays, you know, a lot of us have to go to work and maybe have a work party afterwards. So you kind of want to have that in between. And this is, you know, a look that I would do if that were the case for me. Um, the palette I'm going to use here, again, it's not because it's my favorite. It's just a, the shades in here that I would go for with this outfit today. Uh, it's the Truth or Bear and it's the Morphe 18T, I believe it is. Um, again, if you didn't see the video where I use that, these are the shades right here. They're absolutely beautiful. Uh, again, you can use this for any occasion, I think. The shade I'm actually going to start with is over here. Um, it's super pretty. It's more like a plum. I'm really into that right now, you guys. And uh, again, that's what's kind of giving me confidence uh, with that particular eye look. You know, I just feel... Uh, like this goes really well with my eye color. Yeah, you guys, you know, and what I also want to talk about is aging. Um, I know I have days that, woo, you know, I look in the mirror and I'm like, what is going on? Especially, I will say, with my eyes are becoming more hooded um, every day, it seems like. And uh, I'm having to adjust where I put my placement of my shadows. And so this has been a little struggle. Um, you guys probably don't know because a lot of stuff gets edited in my um, videos, but um, I do struggle. I actually, I will say, I don't have a lot of confidence, you guys. I'm actually a very shy person in a way when it comes to that. I'm very critical on myself. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's just we all struggle with our insecurities and um, we have things that we uh, aren't enjoying about ourselves and then we have things that um, you know you just try to embrace and I will say I did see uh, Wayne Goss you know he was talking about Mel um, the gal that passed away here on YouTube 
uh, he was talking about her because he's very close to her. But what he had said um, in his videos in regards to her is we should embrace, you know, aging, you know, every wrinkle because uh, unfortunately some of us don't get the luxury of ever being able to obtain those. So um, that really just hit a, a bone in me, you know, that kind of woke me up and not be so critical on on that. I should embrace, you know, all my wrinkles, you know, they, you know, this that has been a saying forever is, you know, that they show where you've been you know, your wisdom. I, I try to really embrace them a lot more. Um, these ones don't bother me at all because it just shows that you smile a lot, you know, so those ones don't uh, bother me. But, you know, we're all human and we all have our moments and it's okay. That's kind of just what I wanted to talk about today is that we all go through it, you guys. You know, we all have our moments of doubt, of uh, not feeling great about yourself or anything, you know, it's, it's just, it's, it's part of life, I think, <laughs> I hope, because I don't want to feel like abnormal here. Um, okay, so that is the look here. Actually, I'm just going to go over the top just slightly. I'm going to mix this shade with this shade, just kind of mix those, and just to come up with a very light shade just to, you know, blend that in into my coloring. So it's just going to kind of Calm that down and just create a little bit more depth. I do love this palette. Um, it is very, very nice. I do reach for it a lot. <laughs> there is another shade in here that I just want to try. And it's this one right here. Now, this one does have a little bit of sparkle in it. So that's what, you know, I think would look good um, if you were going into something more into the evening. Um, and it's not too over the top. It's just very subtle. And it will just deepen up this uh, area just a little bit, just to create a little bit more depth. So I'm just doing a, just a very light application. I'm not going to go over the top here again, because I would like to go out during the day like this as well. And you know, that's why I love makeup. Makeup can just change your whole perspective on yourself, just change the whole day, set the mood of how the day is going to go on. I can wake up literally look in the mirror and be like, oh my gosh, what, <laughs> what has happened? What has the time brought on to me? And I put on my makeup and I just feel so much better. You know, it just really changes everything. And we're all here because we love makeup. Uh, a lot of people are like, oh, why do you guys waste your time on all that money and uh, all that time that you, you, you know, put into yourself or whatever, whatever people say about us makeup lovers. But it's because, you know, you know, that it will change how you feel for the day. Honestly, for me, it does make me feel younger um, because I feel like a girl again, you know, loving playing with makeup. And, you know, to me, that's I that's why I do what I do here. And that's why I started this. I absolutely love testing techniques, tricks, um, products, and seeing if they really work and to try to save, you know, you guys money from going out and buying it um, it's just kind of my thing, you know, I just love to almost prove it wrong or, and a lot of times it proves me wrong. That's how, just how I've always been. Okay. So I think for my shimmer, I am going to go with this shade here and, and it just, you know, I used it the other day and I really just liked it. It's so subtle and very pretty. You know, you, you can build it up as much as you want. It is a more subtle shade. And this look here is such a pretty look that you could honestly not even have to wear a shimmer if you did not want to. Um, it's a beautiful matte look. Uh, if I didn't use this shimmer, I probably just would have went into the corner with a lighter shade uh, just to brighten that area up. I absolutely, you know, love this eye look. It's just my go-to, you know, where I just deepen up the outer corner. I just think it kind of opens up my hooded eye. So that's why I actually do this look a lot. I just think for my eye situation, that <laughs> works the best. Yeah, confidence, you guys, is just, you know, easier said than done. I think um, I'm speaking for myself. I'm finding it easier um, as I'm on here because you guys, you know, help with that. You're so uplifting. Um, you're so sweet with your comments. And, you know, but 
it can change from day to day, you guys, especially being on social media. Um, one day you could have, you know, so many uplifting comments and the next day, you know, you're losing followers. Um, <laughs> you know, you're like, oh gosh, why, what did I do? You know, I, I used to take it more personal than I do now. Um, when I lose a follower or something, um, a lot of times, you know, who knows what it's about and, or if you get a dislike, you're like, okay, what did I do to get that? You know, but I will say after a while, even that's becoming a less of a sting. Um, you know, it's, you know, you can't please everybody. It is what it is. And honestly, if they leave, uh, you know, then maybe it's just meant to be, um, and a lot of times, too, you know, I do these little shorts. I used to do a lot of them more often than I do now. Um, you know, those little one-minute clip things um, that you guys probably see on here. And a lot of those just came because they, you know, they like the one minutes. Well, if I'm not doing them, you know, often, they're going to drop off, you know, and I, and I don't put them up often. So I think a lot of those, you know, the people that unfollow me come from there. Who, you know, who knows, you guys, but it can play with your head. You know, it really, really can. Uh, again, I think I'm getting better with it, um, but yeah, it's it's always going to be there. I don't care who you are. <laughs> it will always probably be there. Also, you know, being on Instagram, TikTok right now is going through an episode. I don't know what's going on there, but that, you know, really dropped my confidence big time because I was doing so well on there, you know. Um, and then all of a sudden, I don't know if it's the algorithm or something, or if maybe my contact has just really gone through, you know, I don't know, but I'm not even getting hardly any, view, any views, but I have 9,000 followers. So I'm like, how is that possible? So I think honestly, something's going on with TikTok. That's what I'm telling myself. Everybody goes through something that can change the mood. Either it's going to bring you confidence or it's going to bring you down. And the trick is finding how to get through those times. Um, you know, it's, it's, it can be really difficult, um, you know, especially as we get eight, you know, as we get older to find that confidence that we used to have. Again, as women, we go through so many hormones, you know, where we feel perfectly normal one day and the next day we could be crying our eyes out over God knows what, you know, but it's 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 a process okay well you guys know that i would be reaching for this this brings me confidence um i don't know what's going on here why so much came off but uh, we're gonna have to spread that around but yeah you know i love that product my maybelline blur stick um if you are new it is it's just a product that i discovered to be a replacement for my lamb comb one which i really do love too but it is pricey, so I save that for special occasions. But um, yeah, it just blurs out. I have really bad pores here and my nose, and I feel like it helps keep my makeup on all day. So that's why I use this, and it just brings me my level of confidence that I need in my T-zone area. Okay, you guys, now this is the complexion product that I put on the other day, and I was just like, oh my gosh, you know, my skin looks so pretty. You know, it made me feel pretty. It's the L'Oreal Tinted Serum, you guys. I mean, this, you know, I hadn't used it in a while because I've been just doing so many other um, tests, you know, on other products. And yeah, I put it on the other day for work and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is such a beautiful product. And the way I like to apply mine is with my hands. Um, I just feel like it is the best application with this product. Um, you know, I've tried it with um, brushes and sponges. I just feel like I get the most coverage using my hands and most even application. Yeah, I just absolutely love everything about this serum. Um, it lasts all day. I don't even wear a primer with it other than that blur stick. Um, I like that I can go in and increments and just use what little I need. You know, I do hear mixed reviews on it. Some people absolutely love it. Some people, you know, they don't like it. They say, you know, that there's alcohol in it. And the thing is, I have dry skin and it does not dry me out. So everybody's skin is different. 
Um, you know, not everything is going to work on everybody. For me, it just brings to me the confidence that I need. It's hardly any kind of touch up is ever needed. Um, and then what I do find is I, if I just put a little bit on my sponge and go in on the areas where I just want a little bit of extra coverage, that just seems to work. You know, I do still see a lot of my discoloration, but I don't know what it is. It's just such a beautiful complexion product. I just love it. And it stays on for a long time. Um, like I said, I wore it the, you know, the other day at work. And on the way home, I looked up in the mirror in the car and it just still looked so good. And it's wearing a mask all day. So yeah, I can never say enough about this one. <laughs> See, even with this on already, I feel so much better. Um, even, you know, when I put on my eye makeup, it's okay. But once I put this on, I just feel like a million bucks, you guys. I really do. Okay, and so for the under eyes, what, you know, works for me that always... I feel through the whole day looks you know really nice. Um, it doesn't accentuate my under eye wrinkles. Um, and if I have any discoloration like today, it's not, I don't think so bad, but there's some days where it's super dark right in here. Um, this here has been working for me. And I also love the Milani one, the peach um, corrector. I love that one, but the product that I'd be using it with, um, I think it's just too much cream. And this is the Radiant cream color corrector and I believe this is in peach and this just helps with any discoloration that I have um, right you know under my eye and with this product I am going to use my Anissa brush and I'm just going to tap this right in the area that I want it I'm not going to drag this across or anything I'm just putting it where there is discoloration so what makes you guys feel good about yourself? I know at one time I did ask something very similar um, and some people was jewelry, some people was shoes, you know, so everybody is different and what gives them confidence and, you know, or some multiple things, you know, like me, um, makeup definitely brings me confidence, um, but then also a certain outfit. I think clothes are hard to find too because of my age. Um, you know, a lot of stores, either it's too young or it's too old. So honestly, where I've been finding or having the most luck with clothes for me is Amazon. Uh, I really, you know, you can go through and find what you like. Um, Sam's Club, you guys, I'm not kidding you. I find so many little cute, um, sweaters, a couple pair of jeans are my favorite from Sam's Club. Um, so that's where I've been finding most of my clothes. I used to love JC Penney's. Um, they are kind of changing. I think they're ready to go out of business possibly. Um, so yeah, their selection has gotten kind of scarce. And I am going to line my upper lid and I'm going to use my ColourPop BFF. Um, I haven't used this in a little bit. So I am going to just line my upper lid here with just a very... Thin application. I'm not going to use, you know, go up too far and just do like a little baby wing there. Uh, my little signature baby wing. Okay, for bronzer, you guys, I actually really love this Juvia's Place uh, bronzer. And again, that's what it looks like. There's two different shades. I tend to actually mix the two. I found um, doing that the other day. I actually came up with like the perfect color. So I'm super happy with this palette. Again, you know, the reason why I love it is because it just doesn't look over the top. It looks just so natural and it's just easy to blend out. It's very buildable. I think it's very smoothing. And I just like that there is a choice, uh, you know, between, you know, if you just wanted to use a lighter shade or mix the two or, you know, it's just very nice. It's a beautiful product. Okay, and then for blush that I absolutely love is that Winky Lux, and this doesn't make me feel confident or anything. It just makes me feel young and girly. I mean, look at this, you know, it's just something I would have used, you know, back in the day. So that's why I love it. It's not even necessarily the product itself. I think it's more so the packaging, but it is a beautiful shade. Yeah, and this too is very buildable. Um, which is nice. I love a product that does that where you don't go in 
with tons of pigment and um, then it just looks over the top. You know, you want to be able to build up to what you want. For powder, what I've been reaching for a lot, you guys, is this NYX. I think the reason why I keep grabbing for it and why it's making me feel so confident is, you know, it really helps with keep my makeup on um, around the T-zone. And I'm telling you, it does blur my pores. Um, I was really surprised with this product, you guys. Um, it was one that I really was nervous about. I had such high expectations for it because it was such a rave over on uh, TikTok. You know, I just thought, I don't know what I thought, like it was going to race everything. Well, <laughs> I think I finally came to my senses and realized no product's going to do that. So for what it is, I really love it. Okay, you guys, and here's the thing, you know, like I put on that concealer a while ago and I haven't done anything to set it yet and it's not crazy. Most concealers have already creased by now. That's why I absolutely love this Rare Beauty. Um, it is amazing. Okay, and then I am going to go over um, my blush here with this BH uh, Vanilla Truffle Palette. I know I've been using it a lot, you, you guys, lately, but again, it's one of those products I've been putting on and it looks so pretty. Um, so I think I'm just going to go over the top of this here with this shade here, the lightest shade in the palette. Mm, they smell so good, you guys. If you do not like scents in your makeup, you wouldn't like this, but oh, it smells so vanilla. You know, it's just that vanilla scent. So mild. It makes you just want to do this all day. <laughs> Such a beautiful, beautiful palette. Another product that makes me feel so happy and bubbly inside is the e.l.f. Um, Halo Glow. And the reason why I say this and the reason why I like it is because it does just bring that glow to your face. I think there's just micro, micro particles of a shimmer in there. I mean, so minute, you know, I can't see them here, but on the face, it just brings that glow. And with this product, though, um, it can accentuate things, so you gotta be careful. Um, like, that's why I would never put it under my eye or my T-zone. So I usually just put it on the outside of my face, right up on my forehead just to add a little bit of glow and then for highlighter that is just so beautiful um, in the packaging out of the packaging on your face makes you feel so luxurious and that is the Jaclyn Hill I absolutely love this highlighter It's like I said just so luxe makes you feel like a million bucks you know so uh, that's why I chose this highlighter and, and it looks so beautiful on the skin. It's so natural. Yeah, it doesn't accentuate my wrinkles or anything. Just so subtle. On my lower lashes, I'm just basically mimicking what I did on my upper lid. So that's just basically what I did. I just met, you know, use these two shades here. That supplement that I was putting in my coffee, um, the collagen, I think that is helping a lot. Um, so, and I do have a product coming, you guys, that um, I'm going to test because the collagen powder is almost gone. So, I'm just going to keep trying things, um, you know, to see if one is better than the other. But So, super excited about the product that's coming. I can't wait to share that with you guys. Okay, for mascara, that's been really working. There's a few that I really uh, like, but... This one is super, super nice. I find um, I don't even have to use multiple coats. You know, one or two is plenty. Um, so it's super fast. I like that. I love the wand on it. And it's the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I absolutely love this. And for the longest time, I forgot about it and I wasn't using it. And lately, I've been just, that's all I've been actually grabbing for. Because, again, you know, I don't have to put in tons of layers for it to show a difference you know one or two and i'm out the door actually i've gone out the door with just one layer on um before so i'm actually i have to use this you guys i have to use it anymore um but i actually really like it and what i've been doing is i saw it on tiktok and it really maybe this is why i'm only having to do one coat you just do that with your lashes and you know just go through your lashes a couple times and voila you're out the door
This is my go-to lip combination, you guys. Um, I'm obsessed with it. I have been for a long time. And again, it's just one of those lip combinations that make you feel so good. Um, this though, this little beauty, I love it. I really absolutely would probably go very well with this look. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go look at my last video where I used this. Oh my gosh, it is a miracle little lip gloss. But if I want to wear lipstick because that will last longer than this on my lips, this is the combination I always go for. And this is in Because Duh, and this is through Essence. And I love that it's a retractable uh, lip liner. And it's just one of those shades that pretty much go with anything. It's just such a beautiful shade that one they could probably even wear on its own. And what I pair it with is the L'Oreal 800. This is the ultimate favorite shade of all time. And I honestly hope they never stop making it. Uh, I know it's not easy to find nowadays, so... Who knows? They probably stopped making it. L'Oreal is known for that. See, I just love this shade. It's so pretty. It goes with everything, I think. Uh, you know, it, it can go with the neutral look. It can go with this pink look. It's just the uh, perfect nude lip. I just love that combination. And if I wanted a little bit more extra drama, I use my Lifter uh, Lip Gloss by Maybelline. And this is in the shade Silk. And I just love the smell of this too. See, I like scents in my makeup, you guys. If it's a sweet smell, if it's a flowery smell, no, but a sweet smell I do enjoy. And I just mainly just put that in the center of my lip. You know my love for this. I probably will never love a setting spray <laughs> more than this. I don't think, I don't think it's possible, but um, whenever I put this on, again, I feel I swear, 10 times more confident. I feel like it just melts everything into my skin. I could have tons of powder on my face. I put this on and it changes the look completely. I will never not rave enough about this product. And how I usually apply mine lately is I put it right directly on the sponge. I'll tap it in just a little bit just so there's not tons of product. And I go around the perimeter of my face first, just to get most of that wetness off, you know, on the outer parts. And then I go in and work my way in. This is the makeup that makes me feel so much better, makes, you know, my day. Um, I absolutely love this, you guys. I mean, come on, it just, <laughs> it just looks so beautiful every time. Um, you know, there's foundations. I'm sure you have them. One day, it looks great. If you're having a bad skin day, it looks horrible. I have yet to have that with this. And yeah, I just, I, I can't stand up. So yeah, you guys, these are all the products that I would reach for um, on the daily. Um, you know, if this is all that I had, I would be super happy with, you know, what I have in front of me. Um, if I could not even buy makeup anymore, these are probably products that I would probably just keep in my collection if I only had to choose. But yeah, these are the ones, that, you know, the products that just, you know, give me that confidence to, you know, feel better about myself. What are the products that make you feel confident? You know, do you have that one special makeup product that you just cannot live without, that you feel whenever you put it on, just makes you feel like a million bucks? I would love to hear what your favorite product is. And if I don't have it, I might have to run out and purchase it and try it. <laughs> you know how I am, you guys. And yeah, you know, if it's if it's jewelry, if it's a pair of shoes, a purse, you know, there are things that just make us feel better, make us feel, you know, more like a woman, you know, makes us feel young, makes us feel happy, you know, just, you know, there's just so many things out there that can do that for us. So this next part, I would love to show you my outfit, you guys. This has brought me so much joy because I can wear it out. Um, just like to go grocery shopping. Believe it or not, it looks a little fancy right here, but you will see. Um, and I can wear it probably for the holidays. So I'm super excited to show you guys this. Okay, you guys. So here is the cute outfit. Um, this is from Amazon. 
it's all velvet it's a two-piece and it does have you know like the elastic waist so it's super super comfortable and I just put on you know my pair of little Adidas shoes here but as you can see it is so cute and it's so comfortable like I said um, it does not have pockets or anything but um, yeah I absolutely love it and it's just so soft i haven't washed it yet so god knows what's going to happen but let me dress it up for you guys and you'll see how versatile this outfit is so this is it dressed up i just put on a pair of heels here um, and you can see how different it looks I added this necklace to it so there's three different chains here but it's all one piece and i got that on amazon as well um, and it just dresses it up so much. And you can also wear this with casual clothes. I've been seeing a lot of this through other influencers. And they just wear it with like a normal outfit. And it looks super cute. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And what I've just been trying to say is that we all will age together. And we all will get older. And we just have to learn how to accept, you know, our new, you know, faces, our new, you know, wrinkles. And learn how to work with them. And that's the great thing about makeup, you guys. You know, some things will not work for us one day and we'll have to find that new product. We are here for each other. We can always help each other out. I want you to know how beautiful you are. You need to look in the mirror and appreciate and love how amazing of a person you are. All right, you guys, I love you so much. And until next time.